We all know that if you want to travel sustainably, a staycation is the way to go. But can you make it even greener? Well, we found a story down here in the beautiful county of Devon that proves yes, you can. Hi. Lou? Yes, hi, welcome to Wild Comfort. Tim, hi, you. nice to meet you. Shall we, uh, shall yeah, we brilliant. Oh my God, it's so stunning here. I can't Thank believe you, yeah. it. So Lou, why did you decide to build an off-grid eco accommodation? Um, I suppose we didn't really start off as eco warriors very much a part of who we are. Uh, I'm a Kiwi, so New Zealanders, we're all outside. I grew up camping and it just seemed a natural thing to try and open up this beautiful area for other people to enjoy. And so it's off grid and that made us have to look at all the solutions that you need to do like solar. So what are the sustainable features of Wild Comfort? All the energy, electricity is from solar panels. Mm -hmm. Most of our materials are from locally sourced timber. So that what you're standing on, comes from down the road, the, there's spring water, not from the mains. I mean, a lot of this environmental stuff was, was forced upon us because we weren't on mains, we're off grid, but we really ran with it. It's a pretty special place, it's a very special place, um, and we want guests to immerse themselves in it. Um, we're called Wild Comfort because we want people to be in the wild, but we also want them to have comfort, and that's, we're not really selling just the cabin, it's the whole experience, so it's walking through the woodland, down to the captain's cabin, it's walking from the captain's cabin through the woodland to the beach and it's the whole experience. England's amazing, mm. it really is so beautiful. We're not zero footprint or zero carbon usage at all but we're certainly trying everything we can to get there. The birdhouses were built by Tree Tents International here in Sussex, so designed and built in Britain which again important to us um, and a shorter supply chain so that's important. And how did you actually obtain this land? This particular land is owned by the Newmans. Mm -hmm. They own it all the way up to Start Point. Um, but we spoke to them and they uh, wanted to partner with us and open up this land for people to be able to enjoy it as well. And they're great conservationists, so it was a match made in heaven. I'm so happy that I bumped into you, Rob. Oh, really nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah. So your family own this beach we're standing on and, and the, the land surrounding behind. areas. Oh, absolutely. We're very fortunate mm. to have um, had this land since about the 1700s. Oh my God. And we've been looking after it and managing this, keeping a environmental consideration primarily at the forefront of our plans. We are very privileged to have a hotspot of uh, ecology down here. So we do a lot of conservation, uh, a lot of um, environmental work leading into educational work, uh, trying to improve this area. It is a very pretty area to live, but we do know it's quite heavily managed and there's a lot more that could be done to encourage this phenomenal wildlife. We understand the value of the land we have here and we want to be able to grow on that and build on that without ruining it. Lovely story. I feel so lucky to have stayed here and to have met these amazing people who are supporting each other. What really inspires me about this place or this concept, I suppose, is people partnering together and supporting each other and supporting local business. And that's what you get here. You can find these kind of eco accommodations all across the country. So if you want a staycation that has a low impact, this is something you can do but I would really, really recommend coming here to Blackpool Sands and to Wild Comfort.